Hi, welcome back. This is our final video in our series about how to take a um, hard copy document or PDF and make it something that your kids can edit or manipulate digitally. Today we're going to be talking about Jamboard and Jamboard is a Google app. It's a whiteboard app. It is great for drawing and if you want your kids to draw on something, color something, Jamboard is great. It doesn't have um, an exhaustive list of colors or anything like that, but it, it'll get the job done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate how to use it as a teacher and then how a kid would see it and then how a teacher would then go back and create it. So I'm going to share my screen and uh, I can't tell which one is which. So this is Jamboard and Jamboard again is it's in your waffle up here. So you would see it in somewhere in your waffle and um, it's a Google app. It was made to work on an actual device called a Jamboard, which is kind of like a, a smart board TV-esque type device. And it's meant to be collaborative. Um, so, but what we're gonna do is kind of use it to let kids draw and color and, and manipulate documents in a way that they wouldn't be able to on Google Slides. And um, so here is um, one that I've started. So you can insert your JPEG for, of your image the exact same, or not the exact same way because you can't do, you do it as the background, but you can import your image by going to this, the mountain square thing and import your image of your document. And so I've got a, a document here. This is simple compound and complex sentences. And what I want the kids to do is to color them or highlight them instead of writing in the word, make it a little more interesting or something. So I'm gonna have them do that um, in Jamboard because they can color. So in Jamboard, you've got your tools over here. You've got a pen, marker, highlighter, and brush. So like with my pen, I could, it's a pen. And then um, my marker is a little thicker. My highlighter is kind of translucent. And then my paintbrush is kind of lighter. So those are the four types of drawings that you can do. And then the colors again are not, you know, you got red, green, blue, and yellow, white, and black. But again, it'll generally get the job done. So um, what I'm going to do is show you how to kind of get one started. So I've got a blank document here. I've got a blank slide. This is all in one. Again, it's, it's a whiteboard, but it's got slides, as most whiteboard programs do. And I'm going to add my image, select files for my device, and I've got a screenshot of the PDF that I have that I downloaded from Classroom Serial. So here's my grammar activity that I'm going to have my students do. And I would print this out for my in-class students and have them write on it. But my remote students, I would have them write on it on their iPads or um, Chromebooks if that's what they have. And, or I might just have all of my students complete this digitally if that's easier. So um, I'm gonna go to my pen and I'm gonna go to red because I'm correcting. And so let's say now I'm a student. So I'm a student on a Chromebook and I, this is my assignment. I could, like, I need to add punctuation to student. So I do my circle and my apostrophe. And, um, you know, tomorrow down here is spelled wrong. So I'm going to do that. Um, wrong word. This is a wrong word. So I'm going to do that. And so I can do that. I did that with my hands on my trackpad. I didn't need a stylus. A stylus does help a little bit with something like Jamboard, but it's not um, required by any means. And so this is something that the kids could do again on their iPads or on a Chromebook. And it's fairly simple. You don't want to have them doing any kind of complex writing. There are some adaptive tools in Jamboard, which are kind of neat um, on the iPad that will allow them to kind of draw a circle and then it fills it in or draw a um, draw words and it makes it text. But um, those aren't available if you are working in Chrome, uh, or I'm sorry, on a Chromebook 
It's only available in the Jamboard app. And um, so unless you, you know, and until everybody has an iPad, that's not really available yet. But this is kind of a simple example. And I showed some examples um, in a different video of ways to use it to kind of highlight things or, or classify things, um, annotate a piece of writing. You could do a do an image of um, a text and have the kids highlight and circle and make notes and things like that. Um, there are sticky notes, which is cool. So like I could do it, let's say I'm annotating a text. I could do um, a sticky note and say like this passage makes me think. And maybe as a teacher, I put this sticky note in and then this is what I share to classroom and then they have to fill in the sticky note when they go and edit the document. So again, it's not fancy, but there's a lot of capability here that I think could be really cool for different types of assignments. So what I'm going to do now is show you an assignment that I have for um, a simple assignment. So I have my map here. And um, I just have a US map. Again, I downloaded this. I Googled PDF of the US and I downloaded it. And then I converted it to a JPEG and, um, and then put it in by using my little mountain square thing over here. Oop, I didn't mean to actually click it. And then I use the text boxes. I have my instructions over here. You, again, you have your, your formatting for text boxes. So you can make it super big. It's a little big for me. Um, let's see, do a title. And, um, and then I have my label here that I want the kids to move. And so I could give this to all the kids or I could just give it to my remote students, whatever works. Um, and so this is the assignment. So now what I'm gonna do is go in to my class and I'm going to assign it to my students. I'm gonna make an assignment. I'm gonna say Mississippi River and it's in Drive. Jamboard is a Drive app. Now make sure you, instead of students can view or students can edit, you want to make a copy for each student. That's almost always make a copy. Um, if they can edit it, that means they're all editing the same document. And maybe you want them to. Like I said, in Jamboard, it's collaborative. So maybe you make a slide for you know, two or three kids at a time and put their names on one slide and then, um, you know, three more names on another and they go and find their slide and edit it that way. So there is a place for that, but nine times out of 10, you just want to make a copy. And so I only have one class, so I'm gonna, it doesn't let me pick a class. If I had multiple students, I could pick students. So if you do want to do something that's just for your remote students, you could click on this and just choose your remote students. I'm gonna create a new topic, but I'm gonna call it social studies. And there we go, so I'm gonna sign. And it is available for students. So now what I'm gonna do is um, share my iPad screen with you. And my iPad is set up as the student. And one thing that I have a problem with um, with Google is that the teacher interface and the student interface are so vastly different. And so as a teacher, it's difficult because your kids are asking questions and saying something's not showing up and you really don't know what they're seeing in comparison to what you are seeing. And that is hard. Um, so I'm gonna try to show you guys more of what the kids will be seeing on the iPads and that way you can kind of help guide them to what to click on, where to go, um, why that looks the way that it does. But, um, so here's my assignment. Ooh, no. Hold on. So I'm gonna reload. Here's my assignment. And I'm gonna click on it. I'm, again, I'm a student in this class. And so this is what it looks like. Now, it looks like there is not a document for me to click on. Your students have to click on your work down at the bottom. And then any attachments that you have given them are gonna show up there or any attachments that you've given them to edit, I should say, will show up there. If you have put in something that you want them to view, um, it might show up up there. 
So here is me as test student. That is my name. Um, if you, so your student's name would show up there. So it would, it would say Kate Durden dash map. So I'd click on it. Now, normally you'd see a preview here. This is just a preview screen of the document. I don't know why Jamboard does not work in this part, but all the other Google apps will, but they still will not let them edit in this setting. So what you're gonna have to do is click this little um, box with an arrow up uh, in the top right-hand corner of the screen. So I'm gonna click that and that opens up whatever app it is. So that works for docs, it works for slides, it works for um, Jamboard. And so um, you have to kind of do that extra step and you have to tell the kids about it because a lot of times, again, they think that they haven't gotten it or they can't, that the, the link is broken or something like that and that's not the case. So here's a document, I'm flipping it. And so the instructions are to draw and label the Mississippi River. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna use my paintbrush, I'm gonna pick blue, and I'm gonna kind of highlight where I think the Mississippi is. I'm gonna use my pointer to move. Notice on the iPad, there's this like trash can thing. Um, when you grab something, it'll let you pull it, oops, it'll let you pull it uh, down to the trash down there. I'm gonna show you real quick um, I wouldn't, it's not necessary for this particular assignment, but I'm going to show you real quick those adaptive tools I was telling you about. So if I click on my, our assistive tools, um, if I click on my, my whatever pen or utensil I'm using to draw, um, there's assistive drawing tools there and I can do letters. So I can do, um, that and it turns it into text for me. Um, I can do a shape and I, one thing I don't like about this one is that it makes it opaque, which I think is weird. I don't uh, like, it doesn't, I don't, I, don't, I just like, don't understand, um, why it does that. Oop, I didn't mean to do that. Um, and the last one is just kind of like a free draw. So it kind of guesses what you're trying to doodle. Um, which is kind of cool though, because if you're having the kids do something, they can do it. So um, if I'm going to draw, let's see, the sun. So here are my options down here and I can pick that. And now I've got my image that I can move around. Okay. Um, so those are the assistive drawing tools. And there are some other things on the iPads. Uh, Ooh, oops. Um, in the iPad, you can you can highlight what you want to get rid of like that. So I just like use my finger to make a circle and I can delete that. Um, there are some other things over here. So th this is where you do your sticky note in the iPad, add images, drive content, um, add a camera or go to the camera and take a picture and put it in, do an image library or stickers. And here are the stickers that you can put in when you, here are the stickers that you can put in um, in the iPad. So like I can add that to my map if I wanted. So, um, those are kind of the iPad tools. So now I've got my map done. And as a student, what I need to do at this point is to exit out of, um, whatever app I'm working in Jamboard right now, I'm going to exit out of that and then go back to classroom. and I'm going to turn it in. Okay, and I've turned it in and it is there. Now, real quick, cause I'm, this has become super long. I'm gonna show you as a teacher, uh, what it looks like to, um, grade that assignment. So I've got one turned in, I'm gonna click on this kids. And so it comes up like this. So it's kind of like an image. Now I can open it with Jamboard and go there. And um, now I can edit it as well. But, um, and I can do a grade over here. I can add a comment. 
If this were um, a multi-page document, I'd see a multi-page document. Um, I could print it from here if I wanted to. So that is using Jamboard as a way to let your kids draw and manipulate a document on, uh, or draw and manipulate a document that you have in hard copy or PDF. So um, that's it for this series. And I hope that you guys have learned something and that these tips and tricks have been useful for you. Um, and I hope to see you again. Thanks. Bye.